Council on American Islamic Relations calls it flying while Muslim, alleged discrimination toward Muslim passengers. Now a Chicago family is going to court with a federal lawsuit. CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker takes a closer look at the video of what happened on the plane. We're going to ask that you step off the aircraft without your belongings. Why is that? A demand from a United flight attendant to Chicago pharmacist Mohammed Shebley, his wife Aman, an accountant, and their three children as they were headed to vacation last March. Is it a discriminatory decision? Well, what is the reason? The reason, according to lawyers, in exchange over a child's booster seat and whether the Shebleys were following instructions. I'm being treated unfairly on a flight that I'm sitting and complying with everything and we can step off the plane. I need to understand why. I have given. What does this say to you when you hear this exchange? There's no safety th uh, threat. None of the other passengers are uncomfortable. In fact, Mozaffer says the video shows other passengers supporting the family. Sir, they did what she asked. The um, Shebley family was made to feel targeted. The uh, wife wears a hijab. To me, this type of behavior is unacceptable. CARE, which advocates for Muslim Americans, is suing United on behalf of the family and wants the courts to force the airline to develop guidelines to prevent racial bias. I think airlines have for a while been operating in the realm of uh, unfettered discretion. United's response, both Sky West and United hold our employees to the highest standards of professionalism and have zero tolerance for discrimination. The airline did not comment on the lawsuit, saying it has not yet received it. Although the Shebley family was escorted off their original flight, they were eventually rebooked on another United flight the same day. Reporting live from the newsroom, Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 News. Back to you, Robin Erica. Okay, Dorothy, thank you.